Many people begin to go through the motions in their everyday lives and even at their jobs. It's important to take a step back and check in with your mental health every once in a while. So this morning we've got Michelle Parkinson and Gina Scheffler with us from Prairie St. John's to talk about really addressing emotional needs at the workplace. So both of you, thanks so much for being here. Thanks. Absolutely. So where do you start? Because a lot of times you, you know, you're at work, you don't really want to admit, hey, I'm having these kind of challenges or emotional mm -hmm. issues. What do you suggest to someone that is maybe having them but doesn't necessarily want to come forward? Um, definitely keep an eye on your coworkers. We spend a lot of time at work with um, other employees. So noticing behavioral changes, not getting to work on time, maybe leaving work earlier, taking longer breaks, uh, could be a sign that somebody might be struggling in a different way. Uh, so being able to reach out and ask them about it, um, offer some support and understanding. And can this also have a financial impact too? Definitely. Sure. Um, so I work in HR and we encourage people <coughs> to talk to their supervisors and be proactive about it um, so that maybe I just need a day off, right? Mm. And maybe you have some, some paid time um, that's available to you. And the old mental health day, right? I would rather pre-plan that. So talk to me about it and as an organization, be supportive of those people so that they can get back to life and get back to work or wherever they might, might need to be. And sometimes I know there's like a lot of anonymous hotlines. I mean, do you find those to be successful for people as well or? Um, definitely, if you're having thoughts of suicide, reach out to a crisis line, call 911 or get to a hospital um, as soon as possible. Um, you can look for in the forum for different support groups that might be available for people to reach out um, or talking to HR, finding a resource that's already available um, with an employee assistance program mm -hmm. um, that could provide a lot of support during a stressful time. And I know you, we just talked about, you know, looking out for your coworkers. What are some signs or symptoms you can be aware of for mental health? I know you mentioned leaving early, things mm -hmm. like that. Um, really, any behavioral changes that you might notice. Another big one would be changes in mood. Um, typically people might be more irritable, seem a little more agitated, stressed out, um, more reactive. Um, that's usually a sign that something might be going on with them that, that should really be addressed. Any suggestions since you're in HR, if I got to go and talk to my manager or whatnot, because sometimes people are concerned about, hey, I don't want to look weak, if I miss too much work, is my job possibly going to be in jeopardy? Any suggestions on how to start or breach that conversation with a, a boss or manager? Sure. I think as employers, we need to be look at mental health differently than maybe we have in the past. Um, so being open to those dialogues and being really supportive of the employees that we have. We, we don't have a line of people waiting for jobs. I think Fargo Moorhead's in this um, unique situation where we have more jobs open than we have people looking for jobs. So it's important to us as employers to keep employees. Mm -hmm. So us having that dialogue with you keeps you in our system and keeps you working and uh, you know being productive part of the work environment. Wow. Anything else you want to add? Um, definitely reach out when you need help. Don't be afraid to um, access a hotline or um, seek therapy. Um, seeing a doctor can be really helpful when you're going through a hard time. Are you guys seeing a lot more of it in the, in the workplace? I'm definitely getting referrals. Um, we can go into different workplaces and do presentations so people might feel a little less stressful about accessing treatment. Um, but really understanding we're getting to the end of winter. Things are still really stressful for people. Um, so definitely encouraging people to reach out for help when they need it. Thanks, you guys, for being here. We appreciate yeah, it. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Coming All right. Up, oh, go ahead. Coming up on today's show, Fargo's Fixer Uppers are back with some amazing home transformations.